Mawad al Wazir is a mother of three boys, a life coach, and a continuous learner. She believes that all of us have the power to overcome the challenges of life. We just have to ignite it. Mawad al Wazir, Um li thalathat awlad, wa mudirribat haya fi rihla ta'aleem mustamirra. تؤمن مودة بأننا جميعا نملك القوة للتغلب على تحديات الحياة إذا استطعنا إشعالها. أهلا وسهلا مودة. Thank you so much for joining our show. Do you thank you for having me. I'm so excited. I love these things صراحة. والله <laughs> نحن يعني we are such big fans to be completely honest with you يعني uh, whatever you. you're doing is helpful. Uh, shedding light is shedding light on subjects that we either talk to ourselves about or we share with our really close circle. So for you to have that confidence and wanting to help, it comes out of help, to help everybody else. It's fantastic. 100%. All of this came, this is my life purpose, is to create change in people's lives. Okay. And uh, it's my passion. It's something that every day, every morning I wake up and I feel excited about this. You cannot be perfect. And I'm not too harsh on myself. Sometimes I'm not always in the perfect positive uh, state. But most of the time, you know, I have been a coach since 2011. Most of the time I could say I'm a happy person. Yeah. Alhamdulillah. So let's take it a little bit. I want to get back to that, but I want to take yeah. it to the to the first beginning because now we hear a lot about life coaching can you please explain what life coaching is okay life coaching is having someone in your life to move you forward or unstuck you from where you are okay uh but there's techniques there's powerful questions there's uh you uh, any the tasks, setting goals, all of this, you, you do this uh, with sessions. You sit with a client for one hour or one hour and a half and you move them from a certain state to another state and they start learning how to do that. Okay. Usually, I like to call it, I like to call it, uh, coaches help people reintroduce themselves to themselves. I love that. Okay. Yes, you do set goals and you do that. But through the process, you look at values, you look at your belief, beliefs, you look at yourself, who you truly are, what is your true essence, okay? Because life, culture, people change that since you're a child. You are programmed since you're a child. The essence of you, why you are here, why God created you in this world, Usually, usually it's erased either by the parents or by the teachers or by the, the culture or whatever. Okay. Mm-hmm. So, and then a person feels, I'm not a good place. I'm not happy. I'm not able to achieve. I'm stuck in one place, things like that. Mm-hmm. So I reintroduce the person to themselves. Sometimes. And it's a beautiful process. Mm-hmm. It's so much fun. Any, any person in this world, if you're a coach or you're, you're an artist or you're an architect or a de- interior decorator or whatever you are, if you are passionate about what you do, you're going to be happy. And you see the person, whatever, if you're a decorator, you're going to do the person's house and you're going to fix it. That person's going to be happy. Me as a life coach, creating that change in the person. By the way, the person is resourceful. The person knows what they need. But the coach... They put the dots on the, yeah. you know, on the paper or the, the wording, you know, and it's really, really uh, a beautiful process. The success is very rewarding for me and the clients. And it could be a small phrase, but in order to be able to make a difference in somebody's life, that's a blessing. Oh, come on in a really good, positive way. Yeah, yeah. Very positive. Shufi, it's not easy on the client because yeah. like, I have clients who move forward in their lives and they do achieve. Haram, some clients, they're not able to do it. It's hard work. You're changing habits, you're changing beliefs, you're changing, you're looking at your values, you're going back to your root. And maybe that you don't know that person. And it's scary. And some people don't like the new person that you are, Mm. you know? And 
بيبل لوتس اوف سي يو انت تغيرت او انت تغيرتي وانت ما بتفكري باحد بس بتفكري في نفسك and my company name is me myself and i it's all about yourself i think a lot of people think about it كانه يعني if you say like انا والله اليوم ما اقدر اطلع اعذروني والله I, ما عندي شيء ماني مرتبطه بس ما i don't have the energy to go out with you today i need to just sit with myself but sometimes you owe it to yourself to just unwind فهي ما هي selfishness بالعكس انا لما especially يعني كأم ولا زوجة لما انا اعبي كاستي اقدر اعطيكم بس لو انا ما في طاقه او ما اهتميت بحالي او ارتحت شوي او طلعت وغيرت جو كيف اعطيكم انا this loving happy uh, mom or wife or friend or daughter صح 100% very that's right بس 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 because we're raised that you should do this for your uh, kids you have to do this for your husband you have to do this for your aunt you have to do this for your uncle you have to your cousins مين صاحبتك حد يزعل منك انا زعلت منك you're always on a guilt trip طب انت guilt by the way guilt and fear are the worst feelings to feel because the energy is depleted خلص بتشال كلك انت طول الوقت you're feeling guilty about your kids you're feeling guilty about your your mother your father you're feeling guilty about your friends طب why don't you feel guilty about yourself you know and مين ما بيتمنى لك تكوني happy يعني sorry if they want you to يعني to be there قولي you could say it you could say I'm sorry guys I'm I can't make it today I love you but I need to take care of myself okay للأسف the problem is sometimes we give so much oh no مش همت she doesn't get upset she doesn't get upset Why? Why should she get upset if I'm taking care of myself? You know? Yeah. And the guilt trip is going on throughout our lives. In school, you're feeling guilty because you don't have an A. Your friend, she's not talking to you because you heard, you said something she didn't like. Um, you get married, your husband gets, his family doesn't like certain things about you or you're supposed to change the way you dress or you, your living room has to be the certain way or whatever, especially in our culture. Uh, you don't like to cook ليش ما تطبخ وليش why doesn't she cook وليش I don't like to cook sorry this is my kids at least <laughs> you know um, you really need to think of yourself because everybody can take you on a guilt trip everybody your kids everybody everybody and I you think what you're saying I feel like it's more boundaries صح? it's like you learning how to make boundaries for yourself yes yes yeah. making boundaries for yourself uh, not being rude and I just Because sometimes when when you're young and you get married young, you tend to f- please. Mm. You're trying to please everybody. And everybody takes you for granted. And they use that to take your energy. So, oh, they talk, he and the person feels guilty. Mm. Okay. Or she feels bad. Or she feels, you know, feeling down. Like, no, I didn't do enough. Okay, so then what happens? People continue doing that. And you reach your 30s and 40s and you go, where am I? What happened to me? You know? This is not my personality. Why am I like this? Why am I living other people's lives? Already, from the beginning, maybe you didn't study what you wanted to study. Maybe you left your career because you're raising the kids. Because also you're a guilt factor. I'm not, I'm a good mom to spend time with my kids. I'm not spend, خلاص, I'll leave my job. Uh, so. In our culture, usually, usually, I'm not saying everybody, yeah. but you can get help. Yeah. So. You know? So this is what I do. I try to make people to simplify certain things. Where do you need to put your energy? Where do you need to focus? Yeah. You know, because if you don't, everything is all about it. It's like a closet full of clothes. from 10 years ago. صح لا totally true. قلتي شيء قبل شوي احب احط عليه ندى. Yeah, sure. Um, you said in the part of your life coaching is teaching the clients how to يتعاملوا مع نفسهم in this process. And I feel like that's a very important part that a lot of people يتخوفوا ويروحوا seek help, seek احد to unstuck them. لانه تقول لك انا اي دونت وونت تو بي هوكت اون هير لا ا لوت اوف بيبل فورجيت ذا فاكت ذات يو ار تيتشينج ذيم هاو تو 
move forward. Yeah. No, this is this. I know when my client is successful, when they don't call. I have clients, my son, uh, she calls me now like every four months, five months. By the way, I'm happy that you're not calling me because I know you are succeeding, <laughs> you know? And that's a blessing. Yeah. Is the nicest thing in this world is to see the person in front of you happy and successful and moving forward and where they want to be. Okay. Then sometimes people are really not in a good place. Haram. Yeah. And it's just small tweaks in your life that you realize that you could do. Okay. But because everything is, you know, clogged up, a coach helps you to just release everything and clarify everything. That's what's important. I do different exercises to get to know the person, you know, different assessments to get to know the person themselves. Mm -hmm. So the person looks at that and said, oh my God, this is me. Yeah. And it's a beautiful person that's in front of me. And that person needs to know. There are people who don't love themselves. Yeah. You ask them, do you love yourself? She goes, either they had a narcissistic father, narcissistic mother, narcissistic husband, yani abusive, mental, mental abuse. Uh, she's stuck in one place since she was a child. The teacher told her, you're dumb. And she's stuck. She was bullied at school, مثلاً, and she's stuck there. You can get, you help people to unstuck all of that. Like, that's in the past. Living in the past is not going to help you. Living in the future, you don't know what's going to happen. Living in the now, this is where you need to be. You know, people don't realize it. It's simple points that you, you can do that literally, literally enhances the quality of your life. But I would understand yeah. why people would be afraid to meet themselves. Yeah, it's scary. It's scary. It's scary. People, really? By the way, people get bothered. I'm people sure. get bothered by you. I'm sure. They don't like it. Yeah. FT, listen, uh, you, you make them face their own mirror. Wow. My mom is not a nice person. I know that the, what the person in front of me is and being empathetic with that person, I could forgive. I don't have to hold a grudge inside of me. I don't have to be quiet about it. You know? So... That, that's facing a mirror. It is very powerful. It's very sad, but it's very releasing. You know where to put everything in the right shelves. And you know where you need to put, give that person more energy and more love or more caring. Because whoever the person is in your life, whoever they are, whoever their title is, nobody gives them the right to hurt you in any way. We are beautiful. We are a gift. And this gift needs to be taken care of. Whoever that relationship with, if they're not willing to take care of you, you or to respect you in certain ways or what you need from that person, that means that person doesn't deserve what I'm giving them. Yeah. My energy or time or... Or love or, or, or whatever. يمكن هم مو بشكل مو يمكن مو بشكل واعي بس because you've been giving them so they feel like as no, this is my right you, yeah yeah I'm entitled to this FT oh, by the way it messes the person up big time يعني طبعا there's a lot of awareness هلا there was something that was going on the parent when they're abusing the child but then the child now the generation when we have more awareness and my kids will have more awareness with their kids you know Our parents didn't know how to raise us in certain things. Yes, they, they, it was sit and miss. hit and miss, but we read. We read, we attend seminars. We don't have an instruction book when you have a child, but at least there are, there's, there's things that I could see online. I could, I could read certain books to help me deal with what I want to deal with. And I want to raise like resourceful, aware, creative kids. You kept saying two words that mean a lot to me one was passion mm -hmm. and one was your life purpose mm -hmm. oh with yeah, yeah, yeah. it was uh, 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 exactly oh. <laughs> <laughs> so ممكن تشرحي لي اولا كيف عرفتي انه this يعني maybe you اشرحي لي the passion part and then اشرحي لي كيف عرفتي what your life purpose was شوفي 
but when I was younger, I was like, I wasn't a good academically. I wasn't good academically because I'm a very social person. And then I was working in something called the Talent Club in Jeddah. And basically there I was coaching girls. They were from age nine, sorry, seven to age 17, 18, teaching them al al-hasan, to being positive, motivated, because we're already learning religion in school, but to accepting of others, tolerance, um, being positive, saying yes, you know, things like that. And basically I was coaching them, mentoring and coaching them. And this is what I was doing from when I was maybe 19. Okay. Then I worked uh, a while uh, in the American consulate in Jeddah, left that, and I worked in the National Commercial Bank, NCB, Nahin SNB, uh, in Jeddah for like a year and uh, shwaya. There I was introduced to official coaching, what it is. I loved it. I got married, moved to Dubai, and I did an HR course. Then I said, what am I going to do next? And I said, why don't I do coaching? And I took the first module, it was a big eye opener. And there was, a, there was an exercise there where you need to find your life purpose. And my life purpose is helping people live a purposeful life, creating change in people's lives. Taban, when I saw this, when I saw this, because there's an exercise that you do and you, you get it out and you put it, write it down. I cried from the feeling I cried. FT it was this is who i am yeah if i find myself trying to convince my friends uh, to go to therapy or to, to just seek help دائما تقول لك بس كيف اروح انا اطلب مساعده اذا احس انه هي لسه ما يعني she didn't achieve it what is it that يعني اولا there's nobody nobody's perfect بس الفكره انه نحن نحاول نطور من نفسنا on an, it's an ongoing process. Yes. Speak yeah. people, they might tell you, okay, no, no, he, 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 حتى أنا as a coach I have a coach coaching is a simple beautiful powerful way to achieve certain things and look at your mirror looking at your mirror mirror helps you to find your solutions helps you to organize everything in your life and realize okay today I'm procrastinating because I'm not I don't feel like this one month two months you're procrastinating but then what's, what's going on you will have the tool to pull yourself up again. You're not so harsh on yourself all the time. Where, okay, maybe this is what I need to do. Maybe I just need to sit and read my book today. I don't need to do anything. Yeah. But if you take it as a routine and you know it's your passion and you know what you need to do, yeah. okay, and you look forward throughout your day. I wake up today, مثلا, today I'm going to go walk in the park. walk. I'm going to do my meditation, مثلا. Then I will come home, take a shower, and maybe I have a coaching session. Then I'll pick up the kids. So I look forward to all of this. What am I going to do in the car? I'm going to listen to music, مثلاً. I'm going to listen to a book. How am I going to... Because when I have tasks to do, nice things to do in my day, I look forward to my day. But okay, I don't have anything to do. It's going to be boring. You need to, you need to know that you know, getting out of bed because it's going to be a beautiful day. Inshallah, Allah يترح لي بركة في بوقتي بكل شيء. You know, very simple. وهذول الأشياء لما تتحكى مش معناته كلام فاضي. المشكلة بيصير الحكي روتين. مش ضروري أكون مرة صعبة على نفسي. نحن بعض الأحيان we sit. أنا أتكلم عن نفسي. I sometimes set goals. أحسها unrealistic. And then if I try and then I don't get there, I go خلاص. أنا حاولت بس إني ما قدرت أوصل. I find myself ف... going on. فأكيد كل أحد عنده different challenges. Yes. إنه it's okay to ask for help, and yeah. you really need to be good to yourself. Well, by the way, when you think about it, throughout your day, we have more positive things than negative things in the day. Makes sense. 
hundred percent waking up in the morning, looking at your kids, uh, having a nice place, safe place that you're in, uh, eating the nice food that you want to. Alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, hadi kulla hada. Okay, بيجيك واحد اليوم كنت معصب الصبح. Mommy, what's wrong? Why are you angry? خلاص أنا بسأله. لأنه كل شيء بسواء عم وصل الأولاد بيجيك هيك. بعدين بقول صح. Why am I so upset? فهمتي؟ زمان it could have taken me for the whole day. زمان this is another thing that we feel like we got married or you have kids. إنه نحن we're all stuck together. We're not. You have your own dreams, your own emotions, your own goals. Who are next to say own dreams, own emotions, own goals? It's just, there's so many things we could go into, Nana. But Anjad, the most important is yourself. Looking at your values, looking at certain beliefs that you have, the way you talk to yourself. Okay, مرّة هذه الأشياء مرّة مهمة. Or finding your life purpose. will create much more happiness for yourself. Mawadda Marra, thank you so much, Salaha. يعني... Thank you, Dana. This session could go on for life. <laughs> I know, I know. There's so yeah. much. I, it's like, no. Shuk tila, no, I'm so passionate. I'm so passionate. My whole family talks a lot. <laughs> it's so nice because I love this. I love this subject. Yeah. And if, يعني, mashallah, the whole session, we said a lot of things. You said a lot of things that people will, but just watching this will learn. But one, please take care of yourself. يعني, for people, please take care of yourself. Two, ما في غلط, you ask for help. 100%. Salata, you, يعني, your life purpose, your passion, aminat, and that's what I wish for myself and for everybody else. To find that your life passion and to just do everything you want with love. Udana, what you're doing now, this awareness thing, it's really, really, mm. uh, it does make a difference. Especially, alhamdulillah, alhamdulillah, we're living at a time that everybody can be share this information. It's not just in a book or it's in a university or it's in a course anymore. Now you could click on a, on a button and you could find some information. And that's really, really powerful. And do not forget yourselves, seriously. Do not go into the circle of guilt, circle of feeling, you know, into uh, I can't do this or what will people say or oh, oh, maybe my kids will feel this way. No, no, no. Don't forget your kids are going to go out of the house eventually. They're going to get married. And if they're good, they're going to ask about you. If they're not good, they're not going to ask about you. You will have your own life. Yeah. And I already, alhamdulillah, I have three boys. I love them. They're amazing. We you know. But I don't pay my, base my life only on them. I'm doing reading. I'm doing courses. I'm doing lots of things. Yeah. I love them to death. As command, they have to have their own lives. And I'm blessed to have them. I'm blessed to be in a place that can offer me a lot of things. Mm-hmm. And I feel these chances. Masa'inti, you came to me. It's a blessing. Wajat, thank you. For me to be in something like this that you're creating, and believe me, believe me, it's it's beautiful. And inti mashallah, mashallah, yani yani, for you, to, you got into this for a reason. I truly, truly admire people who are like you. Thank you, thank you. It means a lot, صراحة, coming from you. Wallah, it means a lot. Abiy tidana. Thank you.